Welcome to the Q&A. Have a question or disagree? Comment below. Today's question. Why is Vietnamese English hard to understand or just bad? English education is purely a business cash cow with zero care of skill as score is the primary focus, which can be changed by meeting a requirement we'll talk about in a bit. If the care is only a written score, you can see how the quality of verbal English is going to suffer. Vietnamese English teachers normally don't speak English or have a very limited and literal verbal vocabulary lack the correct use of sounds. Most sounds are focused on Vietnamese language and grammar rules, such as how to pronounce endings and silent letters. All students in government schools are required to pass an English exam yearly nationally, so native teachers are not always an option not to mention the cost to hire them. Vietnamese education focuses on the same group of 100 or so words and some sentences. This is why you'll hear the same thing repeated all over Vietnam. Also, most will not be able to respond to basic questions with reason as their focuses are on questions, not responses. This is what students study for, purely the test. Students that do not pass testing have an option which includes a payment or bribe to advance their score to a passing one without effort. This is way more common than you think. Vietnamese study correct English grammar on paper, but not in speaking. This is why you'll hear confusing sentence structures or even pronounce words that make no sense to an English speaker, native or not. For example, the letter E. Vietnamese teachers tend to teach the improper way to say words ending with the letter E, and will call out native teachers live in class if they say otherwise as they've only been trained in the Vietnamese way of speaking English. This is more common in South Vietnam as South dialect Vietnamese normally is shortened from traditional Vietnamese vocabulary already used. Some examples of commonly mispronounced words that you'll hear a lot. Rai, Pika, I like, I see, Vietnamese, Iceland. This one I have no idea how it came about, but is really common. The new generation, however, with Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram are starting to self-teach and figure out the correct way to use native sounds. How much better it is unsure, as the end goal is a written test score, not speaking, which kills the motivation for speaking and listening for Vietnamese students, young or old. What do you think, yay or nay?